Hey, how's it going? Well, I just saw The Shape of Water, and I was disappointed. I was really disappointed. I give it a two out of five stars. Um, I mean, the good things about it, you know, the acting for the parts that they were given was good. Um, I'd say I'd say the casting was good, but everyone was just kind of a two-dimensional character. No one was a fully fleshed-out character. You found out bits more about. Oh, now I can't remember the main character's name. Um, you find out, you know, a little bit more about her, but just, just nobody has a backstory. Everyone just has this one mode that they're in. I mean, especially the bad guy. Bad guy is just like. No, is there a reason why he's like this? Is there no, no? They don't, they don't, they don't clue you in on any of that. The other thing I didn't like about the movie is that it continually gives you something that's unresolved. It wants to put you at the edge of your seat at every moment through throughout the whole movie. Oh, something's gonna happen! Oh, that's throughout the whole fucking movie. From from from. From beginning to end, you kind of got, you kind of going, oh, is there, oh, uh, you know, I, I don't go to a movie to have this uh, feeling the whole time. That doesn't, that, that doesn't give me any enjoyment. And then there's the issue with the, uh, it, it annoys me when a, when a movie is supposed to be taking place in the past and they do a terrible job at representing that period. You know, it, 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 it was like they were trying to do, to, Combine the 30s, 40s, and 50s all together. Uh, of course, hair products they never have right in these movies. They, they're trying to use modern products to do old hairstyles. And yeah, it, it, it looks better than it did back then. But we're not trying to look better than back then. We're trying to look like back then. You know, They only include styles and fashions and everything that would still be okay to have today. Or for the most part, anyway. Even some of the things that were said didn't seem very 50s to me. Talking about alternate universes, um, using shit and fuck in quite the ways that they did then. I mean, maybe there were some uses of it, but it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't just part of business. Lighting, there, there were some gadgets that had LEDs in them, and I'm like, um, no, they're not gonna have LEDs then. Just so, so many little things that were just like, no, this does not in any way feel like, like, like the 1950s. I'm not going to say it was a bad movie, because if you like the kind of movie that, that has more of a storybook... I mean, the thing is, if a movie is blatantly storybook... I mean, I, I did miss the first two minutes of the movie. So maybe I missed something important. Maybe I missed a clue that it's supposed to be like a storybook. But... Usually storybooks don't try to, I don't know, they don't take themselves so seriously. There are, there are three points during this movie that I almost walked out of the theater. Okay, three different points because of just how foul the bad guy was. It's just like, okay, is there, are we ever going to get to any reasoning why this guy is so nasty? No, no. You know, on something like a Harry Potter movie, a character that's just nasty for the sake of being nasty makes sense. It, uh, Harry Potter feels like a, a storybook. That's that's how it's designed. But when you have something that's that's supposed to be real, you don't you don't put the storybook twist on it. I don't, I don't like those. I'm not going to say you can't do it or you shouldn't do it because everyone has their own their own tastes in movies. But it's not my type of movie. Yeah, I'm sorry. I give it a two out of five. Um, the good acting for the for the lines and the and the script that they were given, the good acting is what made it a two instead of one. So, you know, sorry to disappoint some of you who thought I'd probably really enjoy the movie. I I like really fully fleshed out characters. That's that's a big thing for me. I mean, even if you don't know the full past of a person, you at least can see that they have. They have they have a full range of 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 human emotion and interaction and and they, they they've got a full range. This movie, they just didn't. They just didn't. And I'll just say this: those fingers were nasty. That was nasty. You'll know what I mean when you watch the movie. But those fingers were nasty. I guess I don't know what more to say about it. But I was disappointed. 
Um, I'm going to see that uh, game, game something, something game. I'm going to be seeing that one next, so provided it's still playing. <laughs>